Welcome to the Crimson Tide Connection, your home for Crimson Tide Sports. I'm joined today by the head coach of the Alabama baseball team, Mitch Gaspar. Coach, thanks for joining us. You bet. Glad to be here. Coach, it's great to have you, and this is your first time in the new studio here at Bryant-Denny Stadium. What are your thoughts? Oh, this is fantastic. I feel like I'm on the ESPN set right now. <laughs> I'm glad you feel that way. Hopefully this will be a, a little like ESPN. But, uh, Coach, uh, you got your first week of fall practice behind you now. How do you feel about the team so far? Oh, we're excited. You know, we've had a really good six-week session in the weight room and our individual work. Just started our team practice last Wednesday and uh, really just a great time for us starting to implement the things we want to have in our system and, and feel good about where we're at after three days of workouts. Well, Coach, you have an experienced group returning from last season's NCAA regional squad, including 21 letter winners, five position starters, and nine pitchers. How important will that experience be as you start developing this team for 2014? Well, it's really important. You know, anytime uh, you get that many guys back, I would, it helps so much in the development of your young players. And, mm -hmm. and really, uh, for us, the first time in a few years, we've got a little age in our roster right now. So that's big just as maturity level, guys knowing what to do each day. And I, I think that really shortens that learning curve for your freshmen that are in your program. Speaking of those freshmen, Coach, you have a talented group of incoming players. How do you see this group of newcomers fitting in with a mix of experienced players from last season? Well, I think it just adds to, to what we've built you know, over the last couple of years. And uh, we're real encouraged. You know, Friday night was our first scrimmage. We had four freshmen hit the mound, and all four of those kids pitched really well for us, as well as some p position players that are doing some good things. So it's really going to create a lot of competition out on the field for these next six weeks of the fall. So. Uh, we like where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. We know we've got a long way to go, but uh, those young guys, we think, can certainly contribute in a hurry for us. Coach, as you said, you're going to have six weeks here during fall practice. What are your expectations for this team during that six-week schedule? Well, I think the biggest thing is we, we want to continue to build a winning mentality, mm -hmm. and, and that's through hard work, and that start, started in the weight room with us six weeks ago and, and just continues now out on the field. So. Uh, we want to be very detailed and oriented of what we want to do each day as far as putting our system in and just continue to build that work ethic each day and, and just get a good understanding between the player and coaches what it takes to win a championship. Well, Coach, I know you had a scrimmage this past Friday night. I know you're going to scrimmage a good bit during this fall. Are fans able to come out and watch those? They are. We've, uh, you know, we've moved our Friday scrimmages to 6 p.m. and mm -hmm. had a great turnout this past Friday. and. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people came in and enjoyed the new plaza out in right mm -hmm. field, and, and what a great seat that is. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, so, yeah, we encourage, uh, it's open to the public. We'd love to have the fans come out. Uh, this, this week we're going to scrimmage again at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. on Friday. So, love to have the fans come out and see the new look of the 2014 team. Along with the new look of the 2014 team, as you said, they're going to dedicate the Champions Plaza on Friday. And then there's a football game on Saturday. Saturday morning at 1121. So fans need to come on out there. They're here in town and watch this team practice on Saturday night or Friday night, don't they? They do. And, and they're going to have the dedication for Sarah from 4 to 5. We're actually going to start our stretch about 515, 530, and the scrimmage will start about 6. So really you can get a lot in, you know, over the 48-hour period this weekend. Well, Coach, along with the new Champions Plaza, which everyone is excited about, I also, you know, heard some news about maybe a new baseball renovation. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, it's really going to be a rebuild, and it's something we're really excited about. I think everyone's going to see once they see the plans, uh, which should open up in, in November. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be one of the best venues in the country. And, and obviously our coaching staff is really excited, our players. And, and we're really happy for our fans. It's going to be an extremely fan-friendly uh, atmosphere, and I know everybody's going to really like what they see in November. Well, Coach, I know you got a lot of young, great players on this team. There's a lot of excitement with this team and throwing that a new baseball renovation stadium you know renovation into the mix too that's got to be pretty exciting right now well it is a lot of optimism moving forward obviously mm -hmm. with with the new stadium obviously this team which was a really young team last year that that played extremely well as freshman group and so a lot of good things on the horizon here in the baseball program we're excited you know moving forward can't wait to get to the spring well coach thanks for joining us and good luck as you go throughout the uh, fall uh, camp schedule and don't forget now, Friday night at 6 p.m., come out and watch the Tide baseball team scrimmage. Yeah, I'd love to have all the fans out and meet this new team. So excited about that. Thanks for having me on today. Thank you, Coach. For Head Coach Mitch Gaspar, I'm Chris England, and this has been another edition of the Crimson Tide Connection.